well, we're still here, and we're trying to make some progress in this dungeon crawl. <laughs> We've got a halfling running rampant. Dude, that's what I know. Isn't it ridiculous, Judo? I don't know what is with the timestamp either. Like, the, and they post it instantly, too. Like, they haven't watched the video. As soon as the video posts, they come up with a timestamp. I don't know if it makes it harder um, for the YouTube police to detect it or something, if it has a timestamp. But, yeah. It's... Yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, wait a minute. It's a picture of a scantily clad woman with a link. This could be bad. Oh, no, wait. They put a time scan stamp on it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, if that happened to me, I would be so bummed out. It's one of the nice things about being such so small time is that like nobody's ever going to notice my stuff, but yeah, I saw the thing with uh, Forsen getting banned from Twitch for opening up a explicit GIF, you know, on his stream. And so I'm wondering if it's the same kind of logic, like you get in trouble because some bot came on and put something on your comments. I mean, that would just be ridiculous. I hope not. All right, so we just cleared layer six, everybody. I'm feeling really good about that. And we got the treasure vault. However, I have two scrolls of identify. And so I can finally identify some of this stuff. So let's identify this potion. All right. And then let's um, identify this amulet. It's an amulet of faith. I knew it. But you know what? That was extremely lucky to ID, to ID this amulet of faith. Oh my gosh, Cassiopeia, that's a great idea. You know what I need to do is just buy some massive storage device and then back everything up because I don't have enough backups of stuff. And if, like, my YouTube channel, like, if they decided to just take it down without explaining it to me, I would lose everything and I would have hardly anything. Oh my gosh, that's unreal, Peacock. No, I wouldn't put it past him. You know what I mean? So, getting this Amulet of Faith identified means that now I don't have to worry about any of the other amulets being Faith. So I can just drop this Amulet of Faith, and then now I can put on these other amulets and use my Remove Curse. So, for example, with the Cursed Amulet of Inaccuracy. <laughs> Let's do that. And then let's put on um, this one, Acrobat, and then this one, Guardian Spirit. And then let's just put on our old one. And then let's just drop these Amulets of Inaccuracy. And our inventory space is opened up. Dude, Amulet of Inaccuracy is the worst. It, it's not necessarily that bad, but... It, the fact that it's cursed means you can't take it off unless you have a scroll of remove curse. And so early in the game, if you find one um, and you put on an amulet without identifying it and you don't have remove curse, you can just be in a world of hurt where you can't hit enemies uh, and you can't take off the amulet. So that's why I always try to identify my amulets or have remove curse for that exact reason. Peacock, you're 100% right. Lugonu loves us. Six out of six piety. We are... 
Look at this. We are the corruptor of planes, and we are a prized avatar of Lugonu. I mean, it's pretty good. We're doing great with our god. And, again, I can't remember the name of the hobbit that was, like, the legendary warrior hobbit, almost hobbit king, before Bilbo and Frodo that was like the tallest hobbit on record and, and who could ride a horse and was all stout. But I feel like that hobbit with this 29 strength, you know, as, for my halfling, I am super strong. No one mess with with this basher. All right. Um, so what branches did we find? Hey, hunting wall. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, so we can go to the slime pits, which is a no. We can go to the snake pits, which is a meh. And we could go to the shoals, which is a, I'd rather not. Um, and we can go to the orcish mines, which is, yeah, let's, I might go to the orcish mines. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to the, the main dungeon and just clear down a little bit further. I'd rather do Dungeon 13 right now. Um, let me go ahead and eat some bread. Alright. So I step down, and what do I see? Yes! Boster, my man, thank you. Perfect. Yes. Bandobras took. So he was a took, which is hilarious. Um... Hero of the Battle of Greenfields. That's who I am right now. Or Bull Roar. <laughs> that is unbelievable. You can't make that up. He knocked the goblin's head clean off and into a hole, inventing golf. It feels right. It feels like Wikipedia. I'll take it. All right, I need to go find a different staircase. There's too many shooters on that staircase. Oh, all right. Let's get him. Ice Beast. Oh, Mana Core, huh? Well, not my favorite enemy. Don't put the barbs on me. All right, no barbs. We got some Identify, though. I'll tell you what. Identify is a beautiful thing. Let me identify. Oh, I don't have any. Identity. Oh my gosh. I was walking around forever praying for an identify scroll. Ooh, this ugly thing is hitting me hard. I don't have fire resistance. All right, I'm going to have to uh, blink away. And ugh, I blinked into a worse spot. All right. Um, I'm going to teleport and I'm going to. Um. Oh, let's just fear everything away. <laughs> L-O-T-R-pedia? That's sweet. All right. I know, Cassiopeia. I'm, I'm the champion of fear scrolls. And fear is like right here. It's just basically saving my life. Now, I don't know where I'm going to end up with this teleport. It could be really bad. But... For a moment, I'm okay. So teleport put me here. Well, that's not really that great. Um, let me. Do I have mapping? I don't. Let me see if I can make it to this staircase. Hmm, it's not looking good for a staircase. They should fear my fear scrolls. I don't have fog, unfortunately. And I don't have an actual scroll of blinking, which is also unfortunate. All right. Mm. I banished one guy just so he couldn't shoot me into oblivion. You know what? This'll do. I just drank a uh, invisibility potion. There. 
There we go. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to take back what I said. Dungeon 13 is a little too spicy. At least those staircases. I don't like it right now. Maybe I do want to go to the Orcish Mines and get some stronger stuff. What kind of plate mail have I found? I mean, there's this glowing crystal plate. How much money do I have? I have no money. So the Orcish Mines would give me money, though, right? Deep Elf Mage, huh? Oof, this guy's just blasting me with electricity. Holy crap. All right, I had to banish him out. <laughs> he almost killed me with that electricity. All right. Am I going to learn my lesson about Dungeon 13 or not? I thought a different staircase, we'd get a new look at it. It'd feel good, but it doesn't feel good. We're okay. But that was brutal. Oh, this guy wants to come at me. That stinks. I'm going to see if I can okey-doke him a bit. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 get out of here. Uh, don't talk about Popeyes. Don't make me hungry. Yeah. I think you're actually right, Buster. I'm an undignified hobbit. But I've got to get the uh I've got to get this orb of zot, so I'm going to make some uncomfortable arrangements. All right, let's see what we got here. Can I do any work in the orcish mines? It's going to take some stair dancing, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Cassiopeia, a hundred percent. Oh, you like the food at IKEA? Yeah, it, I um, I'm rereading Fellowship of the Ring, and I'm loving it. I've read it many times, but not for a while, and I had forgotten. You know, it's all the the little details of it, but the movie obviously mentions that that Gandalf gets labeled a disturber of the peace, but the book. You know, it's so funny how they just basically blame Gandalf for Bilbo's disappearance. Like, they're just like, it was Gandalf. And he scorned forever after that, as is Bilbo for, you know, his unceremonious departure from his birthday party. It's awesome. What a good book. All right. We got some really tough stuff here. But look at this. It's all summoned. So we can just take one at a time of... All right, wait a minute now. I don't want to get mutated by these dumb summons. Let me see. Let me wait. I, I rested. Okay. I'm just going to banish this guy. Or try to. Get him out. There we go. All right. You got a good flail? It's a flail of holy wrath. That's not actually the worst thing in the world for my maces and flails guy. But I don't need it at the moment. You're going to be throwing boomerangs at me. I got to kill this guy because he's got a reach weapon. Um, it is sleep o'clock for you, Ori. Yes, my friend. I, I assure you that when you go to sleep, Ori, and you dream, you will come up with a solution to that Unreal Engine issue. Ooh, what was that shop? Why did I just pop past it? Was it closed? Oh, it's, it's been shuttered. That's a shame. You hate to see the stores that have gone out of business, but 2020 has been really hard on small businesses. So I don't... It's a more common sight than you'd like to see. I don't know how anyone stays in business in the Orcish Mines. Actually, never mind. I do know how people stay in business in the Orcish Mines. 
There's so much gold lying around. There's just commerce everywhere. These orcs are loaded. I don't think they do. I don't see anyone wearing masks. There's no social distancing going on at all. Yeah, you know, um... That's right. That's right, Judo. It, this is the fancy part of town. This is like the, uh... It's kind of like the Champs de Lisée. I mean, in the sense that there's so much, you know, money and shopping at the bottom of the Orcish mines. You love the feeling of solving programming problems in your sleep, Cassiopeia. Yeah, I haven't programmed in a long time, and I never was got really that super deep into it. But I enjoyed it, and I feel you on that. It's like a logic puzzle, you know, and you're just sitting there. And then it can just come to you. I remember I saw something about, um, it was an interview with Bill Gates, and he was talking about that, about how, like, when he was working on the code for some of the early Microsoft stuff, he would just be coding nonstop at his desk, and he would just fall asleep just mid-coding, and then he would wake up at his desk, like, at, like slumped over his keyboard, and would have the solution and just keep coding just never moving. All right. We got a lot of religious works here. So let's give them... Let's show them that Laguno is uh, mightier than Biog. Mm, I don't like this. Um, all right. Here we go. So we just banished the, the difficult one and then electrocute this one. There we go. Well, so far, mental note, by the way, don't go to the abyss. Um, we can leave the abyss whenever we want, but, um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> That is funny, Peacock. I'm performing. It's not self-flagellation. It is another flagellator coming in here and just whipping them to pieces. On the Abyss 1, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. So look at this. So far, Grinder and Herald I have sent to the Abyss. And that's it. And that's not. that's actually not that bad. And I can't recall how the mechanics of it works. But as far as I understand it, if it's a non-unique enemy, when you send them into the abyss, they do not persist. But I can't remember if that's accurate or not. I can't remember, like, if I send a Hydra into the abyss, is that Hydra actually going to go into the abyss? Or does the game not code that? I don't know. Somebody has a Spear of Distortion, by the way. Um, but... Oh, this ogre mage has it. I'm just going to send her to the abyss. It'll be there? Wow. That's amazing. So the game can keep track of all that. That's fantastic. Good for this game and its code. That ogre mage had a uh, spear of distortion. So I was just like, I'm just going to banish you before you banish me. Even though me getting banished isn't really that big of a deal. It's so nice. That's one of my favorite things about Lugonu is just not worrying about the abyss at all. You're just like, well, if I get banished to the abyss, hey, what do I care? I'm able to leave the abyss whenever I want. Um, as a, a first level ability. All right, here come the bad guys. So, let me just try to fight them one on one. I'm going to send that knight to the abyss. I was trying to send a knight to the abyss before this happened, 
um, which is the buffing, but I wasn't able to do that. Ooh, look at this. I came up the stairs into this teeny little pocket of Orc 1 that's off the main drag. It's kind of interesting. Let's explore this then. Nothing. Nothing else up here. All right. I'm going to... How many charges do I have in my digging wand? All right. I have enough to just... No, I'm not going to waste it. I could dig through, but what... Why bother? I think I can go down safely, right? Yeah. We can just stare dance these fools. Oh man, come on. Don't do that. Don't be like that. Let's just poison this guy. And then whip him into oblivion. You know what I mean? No problem. <laughs> oh, me and this whip. Me and this whip of electrocution. We're doing serious work. I'm like Indiana Jones here. Just whipping my way to justice. I mean, I kind of am like Indiana Jones. I'm I'm tomb diving, right? Tomb raiding. And I'm trying to get a priceless artifact, Zot's Orb. So there is like an archaeological component to this. And I'm not necessarily fighting Nazis, but I am fighting bad guys. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I know, Cassiopeia. It's like, what is going on with you guys? I mean, who dug this mine shaft and was like, yeah. Somebody, some poor orc had to had to chisel out these stairs. Right? So there's a staircase. Somebody had to like smooth these out just for this. Now this could be somebody's private chambers. This could be like the orc leaders you know, personal sleeping quarters. I don't know. I'm going to banish. I'm going to banish again. There we go. I don't want that to get out of hand. And by the way, um, I banish way more than I should. Hashtag, I banish too much. <laughs> it's the designated pea corner. It really could be, and I'm just going up there. I, I, should, I should avoid it. If it's the latrine level. Oh, there's the warlord. Um, can I banish you? I can. But. Banish too much, 2020. Dude, it's my favorite god ability in this game. You just send people to the abyss. You're just like, get out. Oh, I got paralyzed. Well, that's not good. All right, let's get out of here before that happens again. Oh, no, it happened again. All right, let me, let me go up before it happens a third time. So, I did finally lose my ability to corrupt a weapon. Because I lost some piety for banishing too much. Hashtag banish too much. However, that doesn't matter right now. And I can still banish. The real thing is, can you still banish? As long as you can still banish, you're in good shape. And I'm back to six, so we're all good. And I'm going to banish this priest. You know what, Peacock? And I'm going to do that. I should do that pretty soon here. If I can get closer to this... Um, this is it right here. Actually, I could just do it right here, to be honest with you. And just back away. So, Peacock is talking about... This ability right here. From Lagonu. Um, called Corrupt. And what you can do is, you can do this once on a floor of the dungeon. And it basically just brings the abyss into that floor, and it spawns, it, it changes the layout, it corrupts it, and then it spawns a whole bunch of enemies from the abyss that are neutral to you, but hostile to the other enemies. And so you kind of just corrupt it, and then you just walk away, like I would just walk away, and let the abyss enemies just tear everything apart. And so it's a really fun thing. However, one of the things that you don't want to have happen is to get stuck. So I'm going to try it just for comedy's sake. Um, and I've kind of gotten myself a little bit stuck. So I'm just going to try to dance out of here. There we go. So I just blinked up here. Now, you can see the entire layout of the dungeon floor here, Orcish Mines 2, has been changed to resemble the abyss 
And then there are some extremely difficult enemies here that are abyss enemies, but you see the text on them is brown, which means they are neutral to me. So as long as I don't attack them, um, they won't attack me. 